Hey, it's Phil from statisticsmentor.com. I'm going to show you in this video how to create factors. Here we have an experiment where we have two factors, treatment that comes in four levels, and the other factor, poison, which comes in three levels. And you can see there's a balanced design because each combination of the treatment and the poison has four observations. For the ANOVA analysis, we wish to put this into what they call the long form, for long format. And that is where these data values are stacked one upon each other. Okay, here's the data. Now, looking at it, what's happened is that we take, you see this first, and then you take this column and put it underneath this one, and then put whole of column C beneath column B, and then put column D beneath column C. Now we're going to have to create the labels here, the, the, tree, the uh, factors along with the, the the uh, labels of the of the levels beside this column of the dependent variable. It's easier to show you in a picture what I'm trying to achieve, so let's look at this. So this column here is going to be full of numbers. Next one column is one of the factors, say it's treatment, and it's going to look like this. So all of treatment A first, followed by all of treatment B. Going to the back to the picture, that same as saying stacking B beneath A and C beneath B, and so on. And then for the poison, which comes in three levels, you've got level one first, then level two, and then level three, until we finish with treatment A, and then the pattern repeats itself level one for B, and then for level two and level three. So this pattern 1, 2, 3 is going to reoccur for each of the levels, each of the four levels of treatment. So we're going to have to create these two columns because we don't have it in R. And this is what this video is about, creating the factors. Okay, which is a bit of a pain because, you know, when we're trying to learn stats or do stats, we hope we just got, we have it enough as it work as it is just to, kind of create the output and interpret the output never mind having to uh, organize and uh, prepare the data. Let's first deal with treatment because that's the easiest first. We can see what the pattern is going to be. It's going to be um, 12 lots of A and 12 lots of B, 12 lots of C, 12 lots of D. I'm going to show you two ways. The second way is better than the first way. The first way is to use the rep command. Rep and then in bracket the first thing is what is it that I want to repeat and next thing is the number of times I want to repeat it. So here I've got A repeated 12, B repeated 12, C repeated 12 and it's going to be a factor. So I put it into a factor command. This and if we type in treat now there you go with the levels A, B, C we need this factor here because if I don't do it, include it, then R will not recognize the treat as a factor. Let's me, let me show you that. So here now I've take oops, I take out the factor. We look at treat. Okay, still there, but is it a factor? We check it using the is factor followed by the variable name. False. R does not view it as a factor. So that's the first method. Second method uses, is a neater way, uses the GL command to generate 